Guys, before the video starts, uh, some of you have been calling this the BX remaster update, but I'm actually calling it the invisible boat mobile update. And uh, watch till the end of the video so you know what I'm talking about. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to BMD Drive and welcome back to update 0.32. I'm currently getting pulled over in the new uh, cement truck. Uh, let's let him give me a ticket. We're going to pull over and kind of check this thing out. Basically, failure to stop. Yeah, that's right. I, I agree with that. Perfect. Let me uh, let me move over. Let me just park over here in the shade, I guess. All right. So looking at the uh, the new cement truck, um, it actually looks pretty nice. I see what they did with, uh, you know, like you can see where they just added on to the existing frame. I just like in real life, you know, this is something that you would expect. Uh, they don't have to completely redesign the truck. I mean, they just add the, the upfit to it. Cool thing about the cement truck, too, is that it actually functions which is pretty neat. So it took me a little while to figure out, uh, either because I'm slow or is it still a little tricky. You want to do this one first, and then you want to do on. That's going to spin it. If you want it to spin the other way, I think you can hit it again. I lied. No, I lied. That stops it. That goes. Oh, I think this, yeah, you hit that, and it turns it whichever way you want. Um, so unfortunately, as of right now, you know, you can't really have fluids in Beam and G. It's just not how the physics work. Uh, but I'm sure that's something that they're trying to implement, which is pretty neat. There's also this thing here, too. I think this is only a lock and unlock mechanism. And then you use the node grab to, uh, oh, God, I just cracked that. Holy crap. Did I do that with 100? I sure did. Yeah, that was way too, too much force. Um, but yeah, you can you can swing it around. Hey, there's no, no noise or anything associated with. Oh, no, there definitely is a noise. Okay, so yeah, it unlocks and locks. So if you click it once, and I guess if you just drive around, it'd be the easiest thing. But yeah, so it definitely uh, locked itself. So if we unlock it and then just drive around, it's just going to. Uh... So yeah, here I got it in a better angle. So now you can see that it's flopping in the wind. Oh, there's a police chase going on. That's uh, different. So, and then if I click it again next time it swings to that spot it will lock going into west coast there has been some updates with west coast all right some of the things that were improved in west coast is kind of like ai mapping and the uh kind of the, the paint on the floors i don't know if that's everywhere in west coast or just in certain areas kind of hard to test out um but the biggest thing that uh that's been brewing in this area for a while is finally here the uh the cement factory this thing is pretty neat um Gonna drive around a little bit. Let's actually zoom out. So zoomed in. Is that normal? All right, we're just driving around here in the cement area. This thing is actually pretty huge. So there's some areas right there for the uh, kind of like for the loader to load up, you know, on the back of your your truck. And then you come up here. I think this is a either drop off area. I don't really know how cement places work, but you're supposed to dump something in there. I'm wondering if the uh, that's how the cement goes back into the machine. That that's probably it. That's what they use to to kind of make the. No, I think that's over there though. Now let's turn over here. I'm definitely going the wrong way, but that's fine. There's one of those other little spots right here too. This actually drains into the sewers. I was actually sawing that and then. So it goes into the sewers. That's actually pretty cool. And then last but not least, the little area right here where you would pull up your dump cement truck and they will load it up. So obviously there's no triggers or anything, anything like that. I'm sure in career mode, uh, I'm sure there's like going to be like some sort of outpost here where you can like, quote unquote, you know, load up and stuff. So we're definitely going to start up the career mode series again. I think uh, I'm hoping right. No one. No one mentioned it in the Beam and G uh, forum page that I saw. Uh, I saw the Steam one. So maybe if it's the actual website one, they mentioned uh, anything about career mode. But we are going to do career mode one more time. But yeah, we definitely are doing Beam and G career mode. So if you guys are excited for that, slap that like button and uh, subscribe because uh, I know a lot of you guys love the career mode. Um, when the when the 3.1 update came out with the T-Series remaster and all that good stuff. But yeah, and then we will have to restart, of course, because it is a major update. And they make you restart, which is kind of unfortunate, but how it is. 
for now at least what i just drove over there was the new entrance um now it's completely boarded off so you can't even can't even do anything like you can't even go through that road anymore like cut through but that's actually pretty neat there is still this dirt road let's see where this takes us oh yeah now there's a guardrail oh it goes around the back too has it always been like that oh i slow down oh yeah okay yeah, yeah yeah it just comes back over here sweet pretty cool guys really cool all right looking at the t-series we're gonna just take a quick peek at it a lot of you that play this game a lot kind of know the differences uh right off the bat i can tell that the uh the new logging units are here man oh the logging there's a logging upfit there's you know the the, the flat nose and the, the long nose one or i'm sorry overcab is the correct name let's pull that out let's check that out uh, something pretty neat that I noticed during testing is that now the logs are its own entity. Uh, so you can move these around and pick them up, which I thought is pretty neat. And I'm wondering if they're implementing a toe strap system because like you can see that this strap is here, right? And then obviously when the log is broken, the strap disappears. So I'm wondering if it's like uh, if you guys ever played farming simulator and you like strap something down, you can click the little straps. And it like just straps the locks down. I'm wondering if that's something that they're implementing. That would be pretty cool. Uh, new with the logging trucks is this giant freaking roll cage thing. Or, you know, obviously the logs not to uh, done got you, you know, in, in, in an event of an accident. Which we will try out, actually. That's a great idea. We'll do with and without it. We'll do a test. Is that little flappy guy new? I have never seen that before. Is that new? Comment down below, is that new? That's pretty neat if that's new. I know that they added some implements to the T-Series, uh, some new parts and stuff like that. They didn't go into detail what it was, but it is there. I'm loading up my Stream Deck app so I can trigger the lights because I think this uh, thing has a has a light bar attached to it. It looks like there's no lights, so those are probably just reflectors, maybe? Because those are your running lights up top. I'm triggering them on and off. Maybe like light bar. Oh, maybe reverse lights. Let's try reverse light. But yeah, that's uh, pretty neat. Let's go crash this thing. Let's see how it does. I think the best test is just straight into like a pole or something or a building. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. Even if it uh, makes it. Oh, yeah, dude. That thing does protect against those logs. Holy crap. Wow, that's amazing. Could you imagine that without that? Well, that's what we're going to do next. Oh, yeah. Look, guys, log strap. That's a thing. So log up fit. Okay, we may have to go mirrors adjustment. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, whoa. So I have I have dynamic mirrors turned off just because my I like how my video card, uh, you know, is alive. But no, that's actually pretty neat. You can adjust your mirrors. Uh, obviously, I have that turned off, so it probably won't won't move around or whatnot uh so here you can change the log length so i think that part is called a headache rack which i assume you'd have a huge headache if that uh wasn't on the back of your truck yep yeah, it sure is all right cool let's try without it hopefully i can get around the same speed and maneuver through that little tight parking spot it is a miracle that i did that in the begin with obviously not the most scientific test i've done in bmg but i think this will definitely do the trick Hopefully we're going around the same speed. Oh my God. <laughs> Pressure tank is leaking. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Yeah, dude, that thing definitely uh, prevents a headache. That's for sure. Jeez, that is deadly. That was cool as heck to watch. All right, moving on from the logging stuff, coming down a little bit more. We do have a new tanker outfit. Uh, I don't know if they changed the tanker size or they just got a new design. Um, they definitely changed some of these around. Dude, the hammer lane special looks super good. Not gonna lie, I think the ram plow got a new uh, a new detail too. Oh, the long haul looks very good. I like the long haul as well. Nice, very nice. All right, moving on from the T series, there's definitely is a few other things in here too, guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to the EB shoe. That's the last thing we're gonna look at today. There, there's just so much there that I gotta make sure we cover it all. Looking at the next thing is going to be the log trailers. Oh wow, there's a lot of options here. Um, so with the headache rack, we've discovered that is a must have for your car. Definitely going to help out a lot. Uh, you can get the 40 footer. You got the 27 footer with the regular trailer. 
Uh, this is with the um, the extended where you can, you know, daisy chain them and stuff. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Let's definitely let's look at this one. Oh, I should have spawned in something else. Um, but again, with the with the straps, like, look, you can just remove it. You see? No, there's definitely something uh, cooking in the oven for Beam and G. Uh, let's pull out the long. What was on that like? The Hummer Lane. Can we put a, a headache rack on that? We're gonna need a headache rack. Is that just something we can put on all of them? Headache rack. Let's go, dude. Oh yeah, that's a thing, man. It's doing the thing. All right, let's let's see if my uh, see if my backing up skills are are up to par. This thing sounds crazy. Oh, dude, those black tips. Oh, the black accent. This thing is gorgeous, dude. Let's look on the inside. Okay, yeah, stock stock T series. Oh, that's new. That's a hundred percent new. Little dino, bro. So is that the is that the uh, the Gavril mascot? The little dino on the front. That's so cute, dude. <laughs> Let's make Cappuccino proud. I hope that's it. I should be right on it. Oh, that already has a headache rack. Oh, I was close. I'm gonna have to scrape that side up. There it is. I'm in there. I'm in there. There is a new thing with uh with hydraulics that oh I stalled. Okay. This thing's a little heavier than I thought. Mine low, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Let's try not to curb it. Okay, there is a new implementation with hydraulics. Let's see if uh this applies to this trailer. Um, pretty much what it what it does is when you attach a trailer, obviously, you know, when you attach a trailer, the trailer is empty, has no air in the tanks and stuff. So it, when you attach it and connect the lines, the air from your tanks have to go into the trailer. So it it kind of lowers the the trailer. Let me see if I'm able to implement this, but I don't think I will be. So, yeah, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. So they just kind of reworked the uh, air supply system, which is pretty neat because a real air supply is uh is pretty neat oh no sir 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 please wait i have never seen that front end h series oh wait what all right so they've added these new kind of implementations where you can kind of you know go in between highways it's actually pretty neat because this game was kind of you know lacking in that department the name i was looking for was called turnarounds and they've actually added it to other areas yeah this this area i think pretty much stayed the same yeah i don't think much changed here yo by the way this truck is absolutely killing it man oh i was not paying attention oh the black bull bar looks so good oh i want to buy this thing in, in uh in career mode for sure i need a downshift i can't oh all right well i'm having too much fun uh running from the cops and bmg but pretty much uh that's it for the trailers uh there is a new trailer as well let me pull that up for you guys all right if we go under tanker it should be here yes the kind of like stubby or short drink uh tanker is is what we're looking at um yeah this is actually pretty cool spearly for finery petroleum diesel diesel uh anyways so yeah this is actually pretty neat and you can daisy chain these if you uh i think there's a a pintail Hitch on the back so you can kind of daisy chain and let's spawn that one in real quick just so you can see yeah just a short stubby little uh little trailer with a single axle all right guys the last thing i forgot to mention too is the steel coil load uh for the for the flatbed trailer and i was thinking like what if they added this into career mode because i see this guy towing and like i just i can't imagine this thing being in career mode that'd be pretty cool right all right moving on to the final thing in today's video the new remastered bishu bx series so now it's not the 200 anymore it's the series there's different configurations there's different types uh and even a v8 engine which is absolutely amazing uh you can choose between your pop-up headlights this is the 240 base model i'm sorry 200 the type l uh did i pull out a 240 no this is the diana i think it is which is kind of like this the sylvia version uh with the you know the, the non pop-up headlights and kind of like the teardrop on the on the fender uh, this one's the same way but it has the kind of better 
uh, you know, rear end. Ooh, this is the V8 special. This this one is the V8. Let's open up that hood. Let's check out that bad boy in there. Wait, what? <laughs> that literally says V8 on the back. Oh, no, it just says V special. Okay, okay. I'm just stupid. That's what it is. All right, this is the runner configuration. Let's look at all these configurations and then we'll drive them. There's actually a really nice configuration too that I want to check out, which is the Pro Drift. But I wait for last to check that one out because that one is absolutely amazing. Starting from the top, there is the Diana base version, which is, you know, no pop up headlights, the 200 and then the 240. And then going down, obviously, there's a few different trim packages here and there. Absolutely stunning car. This is the V special that I was looking at. Uh, street tune runner track and then the drag let's spawn in the drag too so does the drag have the v8 in it yeah it sounds like it does yeah it sure does holy crap that's the twin turbo v8 holy crap so i wonder if it's the Ga gavril uh v8 let's find out or is it the ibishu v8 5.5 v8 oh wow there's two configurations of v8s too you can have the 5.5 or the 4.0. This thing is amazing, dude. Let's rip this thing. Oh, this thing is wide, too. Look at those wheels. Oh, those turbos. Nice, dude. We definitely need to take this to the, to the track. That is absolutely crazy. I didn't know it came with the 5.5 V8 as well. Uh, looking in the interior of the new, uh, the new, the new V8, there is now a right-hand drive version, which is absolutely amazing. Um, definitely what this car was missing, you know, right-hand version of of the of the car. Um, but yeah, definitely amazing. Oh, let's look at this runner. I haven't seen that. One. Okay, just like a pretty much a street gutted out. Actually, no, this thing isn't gutted out at all. So has everything just an upgraded steering wheel let's actually drive this because i haven't drove in this one yet oh wow oh okay, okay. that sounds really nice i like that rear bumper Did you hear that crackle? Oh, they changed this up too. Ooh, getting some trouble with this thing. Alrighty, I have uh, I have definitely fallen in love with the runner uh, configuration. Uh, looking into all of these, I think the this is the last one we didn't really look at. Let's look on the inside. Yep, pretty stock interior. I'm so zoomed in. Let's drive it for a bit. I definitely am a huge fan of all these new configurations. I'm just so excited to show you guys that drift one. That drift one is so nice. All right, I have teased the pro drift version for far too long. This thing definitely has the V8 in it. But now looking at it, this one, I think, has the, the 4.5, huh? Not the 5.5. No, it does have the 5.5. So what the heck has the 4.5? <laughs> and now I'm just as confused as you guys are. High performance V8 exhaust. Uh, oil pan. Intake. So you can do twin turbocharge. Yes, yeah, so it's twin turbocharge. So I don't think it is the, the Gavril engine. Because the Gravel engine, like in the in the Hellcat, or I'm sorry, in the uh, in the Bastion, has the superchargers, and in the trucks too, there's superchargers. Hmm. Actually, no. The Gra the the Bastion engine, there's one configuration with the twin turbocharge. Is that where that's from? The uh, that engine. All right, guys, we got to come to the bottom of this. Let's find out where is the Bastion. I don't ever drive the Bastion anymore. I need to. So it's the, is it the Drift Edition? They even changed, they changed this design up too. I don't remember having that design. Is it the drag or the drift? Let's find out. Pull up the drag. Definitely sounds different too. That one. Yeah, that one's turbocharged. So it may be that one. It just looks like a different engine. What leader is it? Nice. 
No, it's a 6.5. Does this have a 5.5? No, it has a 5.7. That's right, like the Hemi engine. Oh, okay. So comment down below, guys. What do you think has the 5.5 in it? Is it the is it the is it the D series? The D series have a 5.5? Okay, drag version has a 6. .5. There it is, the 5.5 V8. Okay, so we can probably confirm that that engine is from the D series. Oh, whoa, what's this? Try new UI. Ooh, very nice. What does that mean? Toe hitch? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, muffler, side pipes. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, you can like delete it. So fuel tank, I don't want that no more. So if you delete it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually delete, right? It just uh, hides it. Why is that useful? Why do you need that? That's pretty neat. That is actually pretty neat. Uh, what would you do with that? Can I hide the frame? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Great car. I'm driving the invisible boat mobile. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty neat for crashes and stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. There's the headlights and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sure this is not what the uh, developers intended this for. <laughs> That's actually pretty neat. I don't think anyone, uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone's talking about that, huh? I haven't seen any videos or anything. So full disclosure, I have not, I have not looked at anything yet. Uh, Shout out to Ginger for posting in the Discord that the BMG got a new update. I, I didn't even know that it was going to get an update. So it looks like the U, the U, the old UI resets every time. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's definitely... We can just delete this thing. And let's check out that Pro Drift version that we launched super far away. Okay, so right off the bat, this thing is very specced out. I mean, you got racing, uh, dash, sequential. Actually, no, I don't think that's sequential. Let's find out. No, that's just regular gearbox uh race pedal shifters steering wheel super nice roll cage um looking at the back there's a nice spoiler uh the newer headlights so this is the will this be considered the 200 or the 240 because it has the pop-up headlights not entirely sure uh, at this point you know what what is what is life anymore uh, you know that's that's how i feel <laughs> uh looking at the front end looks like the standard 5.5 engine Nothing too much there to see. Tube front end, tube chassis. Um, but look at these suspension parts, okay? They got orange control arms, orange struts, orange wheel hubs uh, on both sides. Red bracing uh, brakes, like always, like normal. But look at this thing. Look at this thing. Okay, look. Uh, look at that angle, dude. That angle is wild. I don't know of any other drift car in this game that has this much angle. Now, what do you guys think? Does angle make you a better driver? All right, let's come up here in the first corner. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm a, I'm right off the bat. I gotta, I gotta hand this off to someone like Pio or Ginger, who can drift pretty decently with a rear-wheel drive vehicle. As you guys know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an all-wheel drive drifter. You know, all day. I can do this all day with uh, <laughs> with an old drive vehicle. But I mean, oh, if I didn't, if I didn't overcorrect it, I'd probably would have made that. But yeah, I think we got to get everybody together and uh, run around with these cars. See what it can do, man. This thing is actually amazing. Yeah, just too much. I think I'm, I'm over throttling. Yeah, but see, for situations like that, I save that. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not the one. I'm definitely not the one to be drifting. Let me, let me, I, I just need to, I need to redeem myself. Okay, I just need to make sure that you guys know that I'm not a crappy driver, okay? Uh, let's just pull out. That one's fine. 
I can I can I can drive. I'm a decent driver, bro. Please. Please don't 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 comment down below. You're L driver, okay? Okay, wait, 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 wait. That didn't count. That didn't count. That didn't count. That didn't count. Please wait. <laughs> please don't unsubscribe, please. Yeah, I can do the thing, dude. I can do it. I can do it all day with all the drive vehicles, but if you give me a real wheel drive, it's just ugh. see? See? Yeah, I wasn't lying. All right, well, that, that proves that. There is one more thing that we need to check out. Um, and comment down below, guys, if I've missed anything, if there's something that's hidden. I definitely want to redo the career mode uh, thing, so I think we'll start filming that tomorrow uh, when this video comes out. And uh, get that ball rolling, dude. So if you guys know of any updates to career mode, usually they kind of, like, put it under, you know, under the rug. <laughs> like, hey, we updated career mode, but we're not going to tell you. You just have to find out for yourself. Uh, going here into the options is going to be, I think it's under gameplay. Now I gotta find it. Oh, I think it's under camera. Under camera, cinematic crashes in free roam mode. That is the new, the new thing we're looking at. So let's see if it works. It's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it should just work automatically. What it should do is give you kind of like a cinematic uh, burnout paradise kind of crash. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe because that vehicle was already damaged. Let's just let's just go ahead and what the heck is going on, bro? What the? What in the world is that? What the? That's my car, right? Okay, well, not gonna question it. Just gonna move on with my life. Uh. All right, am I doing this wrong? Am I? <laughs> it's supposed to cue the cinematic. Oh, do I have to turn on? Let's see. Hmm. Looks like I'm doing it wrong, guys. Let's uh, let's pause for technical difficulties. Let's see if we're. Oh, maybe it needs to be a traffic view. Oh, they changed the uh, the air around. Look, they added like a black outline. So let's come in here. Let's add AI. All right, I got the uh, got the got the whatever which one this is called. Oh, this is the Diana version. This is the race track version. But I got the Diana out here. That's great. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna drive around. This is a race car. Well, ideally, if I turned it on correctly. Oh, they fixed. Whoa, they fixed that road. It used to not be like that. Yo, this thing drives so good. All right, let's just hit this, uh, whatever this thing is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it did work. Whoa. Okay, so I guess the, the cue is it has to be another vehicle that's kind of like an AI vehicle. All right, let's try this ETK right here. Nice, dude. Oh, you could change the angles. Okay. Oh, poor ETK. Can I trick it? No, it's actually pretty good. Let's see if I can trick it. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you can kind of trick it. So I guess that can be annoying, but pretty cool too. Like if you're doing like cinematic shots. Okay, yeah, I hit him. I hit him. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Wow, that's actually pretty neat, dude. That opens up a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities. I know there's a lot of people out there who record crashes and stuff. Um, so that's pretty interesting. You can use that in your arsenal, you know, have it ready. So. Right when you crash, bam! Oh, that's actually pretty neat. That's actually pretty neat. That's a cool feature. That's pretty cool. Cause you know, I don't know how to do that like uh, thing where you can like pause it and turn the camera and then continue the crash. I know it's something to do with recording, but like for making videos, dude, that's actually pretty neat. It's always gonna crash. What if you're crashing into like a, oh yeah, what if they're crashing into, <gasps> Oh, when they're crashing into you, it does it too. Wow. All right, what if you're gonna hit a wall? Uh, 
That was a bad wall. That wasn't a real wall. I'm sorry. That is crazy. Could you guys imagine the work that goes into like coding that? Like the effort it took for them to go, all right, trigger this whenever it's about to happen. Like, and then have it so sensitive enough to where if you drive next to the car, it doesn't trigger the crash. It's actually pretty crazy. All right, we're just gonna hit this guardrail. Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's crazy. So it it didn't trigger it like right when it, it you know, we obviously we saw it happen, but it triggered it, you know, when the crash when it detected a crash pretty well. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. So I'm wondering in the future you can do kind of like uh you can set up like a slow motion point in like a map or something. Let's see if we run in. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, dude, it's just sometimes it's finicky. No, nah, guys, that's that's actually that's that's probably the highlight of the, of this update. The T-Series stuff was cool and the remaster is really neat. It's something we really needed, but things like this is what's going to propel the game to just probably a whole nother audience. Like, what if you want to Wow, look at that? It does it every time. Okay, is there a button to make it not do it? Like maybe we hold down the camera button. Oh, what, okay, yeah. What about inside? D series, yeah, dude, it does it every time. Oh, I'm keeping that on, dude. I know it's only free roam, so but when we do mod reviews, it's gonna be pretty neat. Okay, so okay, let's let's do this. What about the T series with the ramp? Right, this is uh the new ramp pal. Uh, the, I guess the new paint design for the ramp pal. All right, let's see how this looks. Obviously, I'm sure it's going to do it with no problem. Okay, there's an ETK. Or no, it's a Bastion. What? What? I'm not doing that. Whoa. I didn't do that. I didn't do that at all. That was not me. What? Dude, I'm freaking out right now. This is so cool. How do I get it to do that all the time? Is it going to do it again? <gasps> no, okay, not this time. So I guess the game just like realizes it. there's a certain trigger that it does that it can do kind of the swinging. Bro, that, tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. Okay, it didn't. I wasn't going fast enough. So you can go. Okay, there it is. Nice. Boy, little guys. Oh, there it is again. Wow. But it pauses, it does a spin. Didn't catch it for that one, which I didn't I didn't think it would. This engine is super powerful. Oh, I have a wheel on my <laughs> on my on my ramp. Nice. Oh, oh dude. Uh I don't know man. That's 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 a that's a dub in my oh dude. Okay, didn't do it then. I wasn't head on though, so. Oh, and it got me hitting that. That is amazing. Oh, look at the wood texture. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. If a lot of stuff comes out and I've, I've, I feel like I've missed, you know, too much stuff, I will make a part two of the update video. But definitely uh, smash that like button if you guys want to see career mode. I guess season two, right? Season two of career mode since there's a new update. It's going to force me to restart anyways. We won't have the cool delivery mods, but we can definitely check out and see if the cement area is uh, a new, a new like uh, pickup point or drop off point. If we can get the uplift, the cement uplift for the T series, um, so on and so forth. So yeah, uh, definitely comment down below what you guys want to see, and uh, comment down below what you guys are gonna use in this new update. What do you guys think about this new crash camera? Uh, is that what they're calling it? What are they calling it? Uh, cinematic crashes. That's what they're calling it. Absolutely 100% W with the with the cinematic crashes. I'm absolutely in love with it. 1000% uh, pretty neat. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's kind of a longer video, but you can't really put a time on these videos because you just want to go through everything. You know, you, you can't you can't skip out on anything. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and bye.